What's going on guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Destiny video. The past two days I've uploaded a video showing you where a new ghost is in the Crota's End Raid that came out with update 2.0. Well it came to my attention that yesterday after uploading the second video showing where the second ghost is, there is also a third one. And that third one is in the same first area in the Crota's End Raid as yesterday's ghost was that I showed you guys. However, when I found out about it yesterday, it was a little bit late for me to be uploading another video. And I was going to be streaming soon anyway, so that wouldn't have worked out. Therefore, I have it here for you guys today. So again, this ghost is in the first area of the Crota's End Raid like yesterday. The maze, the abyss... Uh, the area with all the light lamps and everything and it's actually right at the end of this part near the white blinding light that you have to run into in order to get to the next checkpoint where the first bridge is so basically i'll probably start the gameplay near where you start building the bridge at the end of the first part um, i was up on top of the rock i was playing with a friend of mine i believe in this gameplay and it makes it a lot easier if one you're on normal uh, why not you know obvious to put it on normal to make it easier for you and two if you have at least one other person with you uh, just to help you get through if you're not able to do it by yourself and also to hold enemies back I'm not sure if they'll chase you as far back as to where this ghost is but just in case it doesn't hurt to have someone with you and I imagine that you all have at least one friend or person you can find in which does not have this ghost alongside yourself so once the bridge is formed at the end of the maze you're going to of course want to cross it and you're going to want to go down the lane and you're going to want to be paying attention to the pillars on the left now the ghost is on top of the pillar that is the farthest back on the left and you're not going to be able to see it right away you're going to have to get really really far up in order to see an angle in which you're going to be able to see it on the left and this gameplay will show you that angle after i get the ghost i'll try to position it with my commentary as best i can so you guys are seeing it as i'm talking about it what you are going to want to focus on doing before that though is when you get near the blinding light and you get as far back as you can seeing pillars on the left you're going to want to turn around because if you're facing the opposite direction of the light the light cannot blind you as soon as you start getting blinded by the light and you realistically can't see anything anymore turn around and just start backing up and if the rewards pop up for you if you've done if you've not done this raid yet um so your rewards are reset if you get the rewards don't freak out it's not a big deal uh, you getting the rewards does not mean you're going to the next checkpoint. The rewards pop up before you actually go to the next checkpoint. So don't sweat that at all. You're still good if you get the rewards to pop up. Keep backing up until you see another pillar in front of you than you originally saw when you were heading towards the light. And from there, you should be able to find that last pillar on the left, at which time you're going to want to just jump up in the air. And you don't even have to get on top of it. Just jump up in the air and hold down the button that's going to discover the ghost for you. I believe on Xbox, it is what, X? Let me see my controller. I think it's X on Xbox. And then on PlayStation, I believe it would be Square, assuming you're using the default layout and all that sort of stuff for your buttons. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it, guys. Again, I'll do my best to show all the best angles and stuff and line it up with my commentary so you guys can see as I'm talking about it. But if you have any issues or questions regarding this ghost, go ahead and post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to reply to you and give you as much further help as I possibly can. That's basically it for this video, though. I do hope you all have enjoyed or found this helpful. If so, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Destiny videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.